water a wonder liquid all living things need water to stay alive we need water in our daily life for drinking bathing cooking washing and putting out fire can you think of other uses of water animals and plants also need water many animals and plants live only in water sources of water we get water from various sources these sources can be natural or artificial normal sources of water rain rain is the main source of fresh water on the earth when it rains the rain water goes into rivers lakes ponds seas oceans etc underground water when rain water percolates into the soil and reaches under the surface of the earth it is called underground water it can be made available through wells tube wells hand pumps etc surface water when rain water falls into the water bodies like ponds lakes rivers oceans and seas it is referred as surface water do you know a pond is a small body of water which is surrounded by land a pond is smaller than a lake oceans and seas are very large bodies of water they have salty water when the rivers carry only rain water they are called rain fed rivers some rain fed rivers are kaveri godavari krishna narmada mahanadi when the snow or ice melts in high mountains it flows down into rivers such rivers are called snow fed river or perennial rain fed rivers some snow fed rivers are ganga yamuna brahmaputra artificial sources of water dams reservoirs and canals are artificial sources of water water is stored in these sources and is used at the time of water shortage water cycle in nature water keeps changing its form it is this change that forms clouds and rain this cycle of change in different states of water is possible only because of two main phenomena evaporation and condensation evaporation due to the heat of the sun water changes into water vapors and moves up this is called evaporation water evaporates from all types of water bodies whether big or small sweating and drying of clothes are examples of evaporation condensation when water vapors cool they change back to drops of water this is called condensation presence of water droplets on the lid of a cooking vessel while cooking is an example of condensation when the sun shines water from the rivers ponds lakes and oceans heats up and rises in the form of water vapor high up in the sky this water vapor comes in contact with cold air it cools down to form tiny drops of water these tiny drops cling together to form clouds on cooling further these tiny drops become heavy and fall as rain the rain water flows back to the rivers ponds lakes and oceans this cycle of change in different states of water is called the water cycle the phenomena of evaporation and condensation causes the formation of many unique things in the atmosphere let us read some of them dew 
During the daytime, everything absorbs heat and at night, it gives out heat. Grass, leaves and flowers give out heat quicker than any other things. Thus, they become very cold. When the air touches them, the water vapor present in the air condenses into shining droplets. These shining droplets are called dew. We usually see dew in the morning after a very cold night. Frost When water vapor touches something extremely cold, it freezes to form icy crystals called frost. You might have seen frost on window panes and leaves. Fog When water vapor touches the dust particles near the ground on a very cold night, they condense and become fog. Sometimes a fog becomes so thick that we cannot see through it. Snow When raindrops pass through a very cold region, they freeze into ice crystals. They fall on the earth as snow. Ice When snow becomes very hard, it is called ice. Hailstones When ice crystals pass through very cold air, they form big ice balls. These ice balls fall to the ground as hailstones. Hailstones cause damage to standing crops and plants. Points to remember All living things need water to stay alive. Sources of water can be natural or artificial. Rain is the main source of water. The level of water under the ground is called water table. Rivers are of two types, rainfall rivers and snowfall rivers. Change of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation. When water vapors cool, they change back to water. This is called condensation. The continuous circulation of water in nature is called the water.